and welcome along and welcome back to our start from scratch here on the old farm countryside uh today as you can see we are down here at the shop we are picking up some equipment because uh we've got another uh we've got another contract to take on so we're still minus 14 uh 14 grand uh, we still are in need of uh, raising some money. We've got our... Our fence is currently doing the plowing contracts that we had started last time. So that is still going on. Um, but we need to uh, get some more money in. So we're taking on this contract. So this tractor does do reverse drive. Uh, so I need... To get this right, yeah. What I need to do is I need to drop this off here. We need to lower it first. There we go. Take off that. And uh, detach the hoses. Do that. There we are. So we are going to do the... Uh, we are going to go reverse drive on this. Uh, it does do things a little bit uh, smoother. Uh, means we want to get the weight on the front as well. Otherwise, this gets a little bit odd. And then we're going to go through all the four stages of this. So we've got the cutting, we've got the rowing, we've got the baling, uh, we've got the wrapping. Our five stages, and we've got the collection. So that is what we're going to do. Now, I'd be tempted to get my uh, the Lamborghini running on this as well. We are close enough for that. Good. Um... But uh, that would cost us quite a bit. And the idea is to try and keep the price down on this. So, we're going to connect this up. Uh, that is all connected. Good. And then connect this front one onto it as well. Like so. And we need to connect up our... Whoops connect that up, might need to connect, no, nope, no hoses to connect, then raise that up, and we'll get all this up to field six, uh, which is where we have the job to be done, field six is just up here on our right, not 100% sure where the actual entrance to the field is, so we'll pop in here, and we want to switch around. There we go. Round we go. We need to unfold our tools. Now I thought I'd done that. Ah, now for some reason I can't unfold the front one. Now it should be because we've not got... Ah, there we are. I thought I'd got the pipes um, connected up. I hadn't, so that's why. There we go. Unfold that. Turn it on. Turn it on. No. Turn it on. There we go. Turn it on, drop it down, and away we go. Now that's interesting. I'm pretty sure that this is field six that our contract is on. Yes, it's field six. Why then are we unable? Ah, because, oh wow, our field is a long way from where I expected it to be really difficult to see the definitions for this field but it's it's here so that's interesting down we go and away we go and we should be able to there we are But, ah, right, I see it. It's right on the edge there. You can see where it's beginning to change. Uh, and we're now into the field. So the overcut is quite a difficult one to, to grasp on this. 
and I was going sort of being aligned with the uh, road but the road of course is at an angle uh, to this field and so it's uh, quite difficult to, to see so I'm going by as much of it as I can but I can I can see the ground which is okay so uh, yeah I continue on with this we'll get the headland cut and then we'll see how much field we've got so we've got a fair amount of field here to work with uh, we should do pretty well uh, I'm not too uh, it's not too bad at all uh, I don't know if we no, we could we couldn't have brought our other bit of equipment up here with us and, and towed it behind. If we'd had our own wind row, we might have been able to. But this is uh, yeah, this is uh, not one of those times. One thing that is annoying me slightly is I'm doing the uh, the uh, auto uh, the lift front and back and it's uh, and it's lifting the weight as well so I'm having to make sure that I get the weight picked up off the floor all the time but otherwise we're all good and we should have a decent amount of uh, bales off this field now my hope is that when we uh, when we come to sell these when we come to drop off these bales from this uh, from this contract we're gonna make a little bit of extra money it's worth nine thousand the, the contract itself uh, my hope is that maybe in total it might be worth 15 with a couple of extra bales uh, it is a silage bale contract and silage bales are worth about one and a half thousand so you know even just a few bales and we'll we'll make a bit of extra money on this which would be very good which would be very useful right now uh, because we really really want to get our fields fertilized uh, well we need to weed and fertilize fertilize twice in fact our second field field 35 so it's uh, it's getting that done with this this contract hopefully will do this if it doesn't there is another bailing contract so I can take that on as well plus we've got the 5,000 from the uh, plying that's currently going on so we'll see how we, we'll see what happens we'll see how that works out but now though, uh, let's crack on with this, get this done, and then we'll go and get the rower. I was saying the other day when we had the beet contract, uh, sorry, not the beet contract, the seeding potatoes contract on, um, on our uh, seasons from scratch. Um, how much I loved that the vultures had introduced this feature to the game. So it's the reverse driving, the extra maneuverability, it just it works so well for doing jobs like this. I think if you if you are going heavy on the grass cutting and you're not buying something like the um, uh, like the big M uh, the, uh, the the big mower the uh, big prone mower uh, then this actually is a really really good mower setup. Uh, and there's actually a mod mower now that you can get that will that will do the rowing a bit like that as well. And it means you get another tractor on the farm and you get the maneuverability of this type of mowing. Which is just, yeah, it just works so well. So, uh, yeah, I highly recommend this. I think this is, uh, is a great way to go uh, for, a, for a mowing setup, for a decent mowing setup. Starting on the last little strip here, just to finish it off. Uh, and then we're going to get our rower. Now, I'm a little bit tempted to speed things up a bit by grabbing our uh, grabbing the Lamborghini and getting that helping here. Uh, we can then get that on Follow Me running behind. Uh, now, I'm, I am slightly worried in that uh, every time we use that tractor, it is costing us money. Uh, and I think part of our issue recently has we've been a little bit too reliant on it. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm a little bit iffy about using it in order to save time. I think it could be a uh, a huge issue for us uh, that tractor if we use that on this day because we are just trying to raise money back uh, on this game day. 
So, uh, yeah, I will make my decision on the way back to the shop, I think. It will speed things up, but it will also cost us a lot more money. So I think I've decided against it for now. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get the row. We're going to see how we do with that. But at the moment, I don't think we need to... Uh, I think we're better off not spending the extra money, making sure that we get in everything we need. I need to fold those back up, actually. Right. Uh, we'll undo the pipes. We'll undo... Uh, the PTO and disconnect the whole thing. Head over here, grab our rower. Like so. And things at this stage with this uh, type of contract begin to speed up. Connect up our hoses. Oh, no, there are no hoses to connect on this one, so that's good. And away we go. Back at our field and getting the better the rower out. Now, what side is it currently set to? So, sorry, the merger. That's the word I've been looking for. So, current work direction is left. Current work mode is left. We want to change that. Oop, no, we don't want to reverse steer. I want to change that to right. If I have the command, I don't. So, I'm not 100% sure what this is. I'm going to get this tried and, uh, and see if I can work it out. So, left control Y. There we go. Down the middle. Let's start it up. Like so, drop it down. And we're going to go for a straight uh, merging here. Uh, we're looking to, to keep things a little bit simple uh, and get that working right. So there we go. And uh, looking great. This should take us a very little time at all. Got two headlands done now. And you're beginning to see the, uh, the actual where the field is emerge from under the grass. Uh, and you can see that we've, ma we've cut quite a bit extra on top of where the uh, uh, top of where the field actually is, and this is a little bit by design. Uh, it was a little bit by the fact that I didn't know where the field was, but it's a little bit by design as well because extra grass means extra bales. So if we can pull in uh, one or two, if we can just pull in two extra bales on top of what the contract provides, that's an extra three thousand pounds. So it is. It is by design as well to try and get that extra grass into this contract. Because if we can, we can make a whole load of money with it. And, uh, and really get ourselves clear of this, uh, this hole that we've sort of dug ourselves a little bit at the moment. Uh, we're of course in this position because we, uh, I wanted to get the farm built and we borrowed a whole load of money. I don't think we can actually borrow any more money at the moment. Uh, I think we might be at our max, which is why I've not borrowed my way out of this hole, um, and I'm trying to work my way out. And the thing is, we also have time. We have, uh, I think our crops are in a position where we are we are able to do this. Even though we've got a fair amount to get done, uh, our oats are were only on stage two, I think, of growth. So what we what we can do is, as long as we've got one stage of growth left, we can use the fertilizing uh, herbicide trick. So the, that trick is basically we fertilize, we run the herbicide over, kill the weeds, and then we do, uh, and then we go and fertilize again because the herbicide resets the fertilizer state, uh, and it's it's a great way to get two sets of fertilizing in one set of growth. Uh, which one something like this where you've 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 hit the snag and you're going to be very time dependent is a really really useful uh, piece of kit uh, to be able to uh, to to do uh, it of course doesn't work in seasons 
Uh, but that doesn't really matter so much because uh, with seasons you get a lot more time than you do on something like this where we're uh, where we're getting a couple of growth stages in a day and that's also why we run this series at five times and not 15 times like we do with seasons uh, because if we ran this at 15 times we would never get anything done uh, not with our not with our growth setup so uh, yeah that is uh, that is why I'm not too worried. So long as we can get the money in, um, we will be okay. And here we go, the last little bit. I've got a small error that I made to correct at the top of the field here. Uh, but then we're gonna go and get this back to the shop. You can see my error here. I managed to forget, I forgot to lift the Merge Max at the end of a row. So we'll just straighten that out and straight it the other way just so that it makes it easier for us to bail this up in a bit and you'd never know i did it there we go right so we'll turn it off we will fold it up and let's head back to the shop and get back up here with the baler back to the field with the baler now and we just need to get lined up for our headlands. Get the headlands knocked out first. So unfold the baler. Start it up. Drop it down. And yeah, telling me it's reserve contract work. But it is doing the job. There we go. So uh, yeah. This now should be, again, it should be smooth sailing. Uh, we'll get a load of bales out of here. We've actually got a... Wow, we were right up to the edge of the field here. That's unfortunate. That may cost us a little bit in uh, in lost revenue there. Because I think the field actually goes a little bit further up to the edge of the road, unfortunately. Um, but we should have enough bales, even so. We've gone quite a way over in places. Uh, so, all good. Uh, let's get this field bailed. One of the things I miss from Farming Simulator 17 uh, that, that 19 doesn't have is uh, when you do contracts, when you do when you did missions in FS17, what you'd get is you'd get your equipment would be generated from the pool of all the equipment available, including your modded equipment. And it was quite a nice thing because once you got to, to later in the game and you got several mods and things like that in your... Uh, in your library uh, you'd start getting mod tractors and things like that suggested for your contracts and your missions and it's not something that happens in fs19 you continually get uh you always get stuff from the base game not even not even stuff from any of the dlc or anything like that it's always stuff from the base game um and it's a pity uh i mean perfect example is when we get the class dlc coming out we're not going to have any of that class stuff in any of the contracts. It'll still all be things like this Vultra and this Coon Baylor and things like that. And the trouble with that is, and the issue I have with that, is that when you have, uh, when you've got that DLC, you're going to have, you, I, you will have a new Baylor. There'll be a new Baylor in it. Um, and there'll be lots of new tractors that, that would fit this and... You know, and if you do the harvesting contract, there are there's going to be new combines. There's going to be no end of new combines in the uh, in the platinum edition that won't be available for contract work. And similarly, at the moment, I've got nice tractors and extra balers and things that would be great for this contract work. But it's always going to be this coon baler that comes out because it is the only base game square baler that's available. And I do think that's a pity. I think that is something that the game has lost between FS17 and FS19. And I kind of hope that when FS21 does roll around, uh, when, when that does come out, that is one of the things that gets restored. Uh, because, yeah, I do kind of miss it. I, I kind of miss that whole thing of, uh, of being able to... It was also a great way of testing out equipment. So I also miss that um, being a thing or being a, a way to do it in FS19. So hopefully we'll eventually see the return of that. 
Wow, that is a lot of bales. That is an incredible amount of bales that we've got off this field. Uh, that's quite encouraging, actually. That will The more bales we have, uh, the more we are going to make in the extra bales on top of the contract. So really, really quite pleased with that. How close are we going to get to another full bale off here? It's going to be really close, actually. In fact, there we go. Almost exactly another bale. So I'm going to turn that off. I am going to unload the ones we've got on there. And I think what we will do is that is where we will end this video. Because there's an awful lot of wrapping to do there. So, uh, yeah, we have uh, quite a bit of work to do. I am, I am encouraged. So next time, what we will be doing is we'll be getting these wrapped and getting these transported. And hopefully getting ourselves out of this debt. Uh, we should have our other field finished at that point as well. Uh, so the other contract that's going on, which is... Can we get to it? Where is he? There he is. So this is uh, going on here, and it's got most of this field done. So that should be done next time as well. And we'll get a nice cash injection from that. Uh, and, uh, and yeah, that should do us. So all that remains this time is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.